Hey, welcome back for another ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be shooting some 3030 Federal 150 grain power shock. And my test rifle today is a vintage Glenfield model 30A. Uh, these were made by Marlin. It's basically a Marlin 336. It's got a 20 inch barrel and I've got a vintage Leopold um, M8 4X fixed power scope on there. Really neat. And we are going to be shooting at 50 yards instead of my typical 100 because it's a 3030. And I think people kind of think when they think 30 30 they think closer range and in realistic terms i think that's where most deer are shot anyways 30 30 or not especially in the east we're going to be getting velocity on the chronograph there and i'll report all that later all right let's take some shots All right, I came down here to the blocks and we have some very impressive penetration from 150 grain 30 30 bullets. Let's get the tape measure out. Okay, we got the tape measure on there. Let's take a look. We captured all three bullets. We've got one at 21 and an eighth, one at 21 and a half, and one all the way out at 23 inches. And the reason I say that's impressive is I've been out here for a few days filming and I've shot some 6.5 Creedmoor and 30-06. And I think this load right here, this 30 30 load, is the deepest penetrating load that I have shot. And let's take a look at those velocities for that 150 grain Federal Power Shock 3030. The high was 2271, the low was 2240, and the average was 2256. And here we have those 150 grain Federal Power Shocks out of the 3030. And first we'll talk about weight retention and just like every Federal Power Shock I've tried so far and I've tried them in 30-06, 6.5 Creedmoor and now 3030, they have performed just incredibly well, especially for being a budget ammo. So weight retention overall average was 143 grains and respectively they were 140, 145, and 145 grains, so extremely consistent weight retention for an overall average retained weight of 95%. So I've gone ahead and flipped them over to talk about expanded diameter. First of all, let's just look at those mushrooms. These things just look incredible. They just look like well-performing bullets. So expanded diameter averaged 0.62 inches, and they were 0.63 inches, 0.63 inches, and 0.59 inches respectively. And overall that works out to 2x expansion. So it did hit my minimum benchmark, but it didn't quite expand as much as I would have liked. Not super surprising being that it's a 30-30 bullet and it's not going particularly fast, but it, hey, it hit the mark. Let's go ahead and talk about velocity. The high velocity was 2,271 feet per second. The low was 2,240 feet per second. And the average was 2,256 feet per second versus a build velocity per the box and manufacturer of 2,390 feet per second. So it did come in quite a bit below factory spec, 134 feet per second, slow to be precise. Um, not surprising. There isn't a single ammo I've tested so far that came really, really close to the factory spec. And it's kind of well known that 150 grain 30, 30 bullets typically are in this 22 to 2300 foot per second range rather than up there at 2390 that all the boxes state. Now let's talk about penetration. These bullets really did penetrate well, especially for being out of a 30-30, you know, not a particularly powerful cartridge. The average was 21.9 inches and we got 23 inches, 21 and a half inches and 21 and one eighth inch respectively. So it did meet my 20 inch sort of benchmark for medium game. I'm really happy with penetration and the overall performance of this bullet. Closing thoughts on that Federal Power Shock 150 grain load out of the 3030, it hit all the marks. It had the weight retention, it had the expansion, and it had the penetration. I was actually very surprised to see how much penetration it did have, and there's some 3030 ammo tests coming up that got even better penetration, so stay tuned for that. I'm, I'm very surprised with the 3030's overall performance, um, and that's speaking to several loads where I haven't released the videos yet, but I know the data, so stay tuned for those. Um, but yeah, this load did very well as far as the penetration, or not the, the penetration, the uh, expansion goes. So it hit 2x expansion. That's sort of my benchmark for medium game hunting for a hunting bullet. Um, and with 30-30, being that the bullet is going quite a bit slower than some of your more 
modern cartridges, it's not surprising that we don't see more expansion, that it's closer to that 2X mark as opposed to 2.5X or even 3X with some of the higher velocity loads. So I'm very happy with it. It performed very well, especially for being a budget ammo. If you've got a 30-30, try some of this stuff out and see if yours likes it. I'm definitely gonna use it. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.